Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel and E3 2021 is currently on the horizon. If you didn't know, E3 is practically the biggest gaming event of the year and Nintendo plans on having a presentation to share some information about upcoming and existing Nintendo Switch games. Of course, this is incredibly exciting, especially if you're a Nintendo fan, but Animal Crossing fans are wondering, will we get a new update trailer or some information about the game's future at this E3? Well, in this video, I've decided to take a look at how possible it actually is for E3 to bring up Animal Crossing New Horizons and what we might see if they do. So if you guys are excited for this video, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. So Nintendo has officially confirmed that they are taking part in E3 2021, which is going to be entirely online. Now this is no surprise, Nintendo is always at E3. We did actually have a Direct not too long ago, so it's exciting that we're getting even more Nintendo information, and I'm sure they plan on sharing information about some of their biggest games that will be releasing in the next year or so. Now, Nintendo does typically talk about existing games as well at E3, and I think their biggest game right now, in my opinion, which has still the most active fan base, I guess it's debatable, but in my opinion, it probably would be Animal Crossing New Horizons. So many people still play the game. The game is one of the best Nintendo Switch selling games of all time. It's almost beat Mario Kart, so that should say it all. So yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons is still a very active game, and I don't think Nintendo is done talking about it yet. Yet. So it actually would make a lot of sense for Nintendo to bring up Animal Crossing New Horizons at E3. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that they would announce some kind of massive update for the game. It could just be some kind of tie-in, maybe some kind of crossover update for something else. Maybe they would just say thank you to everyone for playing the game. We literally don't know, but I definitely think it would be a very big missed opportunity if Nintendo didn't bring Animal Crossing New Horizons up at E3. Could we see big news, however? Well, that's a different question altogether. It is possible, the possibility is always there, but of course a lot of people will probably realize that by now we have kind of been pushing it back and back for a big update. For example, people thought that the first anniversary of New Horizons would bring a massive update. It didn't really. Then we thought maybe the series anniversary could bring a big update. It didn't really. And then we thought maybe May could bring a big update and of course it didn't. So it does keep getting pushed back more and more. I think E3 is probably, in my opinion, as dramatic as this may sound, one of the last chances for Nintendo to really unveil a big update. So we will have to see if something like that does happen. Now, one thing that is significant about E3 is that E3 actually announced Animal Crossing New Horizons nearly two years ago on June the 11th. This was an incredibly exciting announcement. People had been waiting like seven years for a brand new mainline Animal Crossing game, and it finally came out in, during E3. Well, it got announced during E3. It was actually delayed until 2020, as we all know, but it got announced during E3. So it could realistically make sense for Nintendo to mention that E3 E3 is the two-year anniversary since they actually announced Animal Crossing New Horizons at the event. I definitely think this is significant. This was one of the biggest announcements that Nintendo made during that little direct in 2019, and it got people obviously so excited and spawned one of the best-selling Nintendo Switch games of all time. So I definitely think it would make sense for them to mention at least something about the game during E3. Again, will it be big? That's a different question, but I certainly hope so. I do think there's a possibility that Nintendo could announce some kind of crossover update like they did with Mario. Don't forget Zelda's anniversary is coming up, but that's all speculation at this point, and I think it's best not to get your hopes up too high for E3, just in case Nintendo doesn't decide to announce anything, which is possible. There's absolutely no guarantee that E3 will mention Animal Crossing New Horizons whatsoever. Nintendo hasn't confirmed anything, there's no real sort of super credible leaks to suggest that anything will be coming at E3, so definitely keep your expectations in check for this one because obviously we don't want people to be super disappointed again. Now, what could we actually see announced in a big update at E3? I know you guys are tired of hearing stuff like Brewster and Tortima Island and all of that, so I'm going to try and avoid doing that in this video, but I will say some of the recent data mines for Animal Crossing New Horizons have shown some interesting things which could be possible for an update in the near future, especially at E3. I feel like if they do announce an update at E3, it's got to be a big one, it's got to be something significant to really get people talking about the game again. 
So I kind of would hope that's what they would go for. Now, some of the things which were data mined, like, you know, the cafe and fence customization very recently in the 1.10 update are super interesting because basically a lot of people have wondered if the content that we've seen in the data mines for New Horizons was stuff that was just removed early on and not seen again. Well, what's really interesting is this content that's in the data mines has actually resurfaced in the recent update, which does kind of make me suggest that Nintendo still plans on using this. If they do, E3 would basically be the perfect time to finally unveil it and have a significant update. But we know what Nintendo's like at this point. They <laughs> haven't really given us a massive update yet and we're already over a year into the game's life cycle. Again, E3 would be the best time in terms of visibility because so many people would be talking about it and be watching. I really do think a lot of people may consider buying the game if they saw a massive update. And of course it would get people who stopped playing, playing again for sure. So in terms of actual promotion and visibility, E3 would make the most sense. But who knows, maybe Nintendo physically doesn't have a big update ready, or maybe they never had a big update planned at all. In terms of actual rumors, I know we've seen a lot floating around, but I don't really want to listen too much to the rumors. I certainly think those should be taken with a heavy grain of salt. The data mines are a lot more credible, I will say that. They are kind of based on factual information. It doesn't mean the information is guaranteed to actually come true, but the information at least is in the actual code of the game, so it's something more concrete to hold on to. Now, there is one thing that concerns me in terms of getting an update at E3, and that's the fact that this May update basically introduced new content, such as seasonal items, way until July. So that possibly means that even if we do get an update announced at E3, we won't be seeing it for quite a while longer, which definitely would be difficult to wait for. I personally think just getting announcement in general would be great. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer for the update's release. But yeah, it's, it's maybe possible that we won't even see another update until sometime in July or even August, which is a long time away. But the content within this current update does actually last until that point. So it could be a long time before we see the next update if we don't get any information at E3. I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below how likely do you think it is that we'll see some kind of big announcement at E3 2021. I do think the possibility is there, but if it doesn't happen, then I am kind of worried we won't be seeing another update for a while. And I'm also worried that the future of Animal Crossing updates won't be super significant. They'll be more like the one we got in May, where they just do a kind of blog post, they don't even do a trailer, and they just introduce more seasonal items and then, you know, some changes to events. Which, it's not the worst type of update, but I think we're really aching for a big update now in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And E3 could be the chance, but like I said, it's important to keep your expectations in check. If you made it to the end of this video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you want to help support my channel, click the join button down below to become a channel member. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe, and if you haven't already, be sure to turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos.